soaring today to its highest level since 2011. So does this mean Made in America is finally making a comeback? We certainly hope so. And so to our next guest, they traveled all over the country. They were speaking with big and small U.S. manufacturers for their new documentary. Well, the Richmond Fed's manufacturing index soaring today to its highest level since 2011. So does this well, the Richmond Fed's manufacturing index soaring today to its highest level since 2011. So does this mean Made in America is finally making a comeback? We certainly hope so. And so to our next guest, they traveled all over the country. They were speaking with big and small U.S. manufacturers for their new documentary. Joining me now, Vincent Vittorio and Nathaniel McGill, directors of American Made Movie. That's the name of the film that comes out early part of September? Yeah, uh, okay. August Actually, 30th. Friday, August 30th. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, Vince, what, what is the theme? Of the booth that 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 manufacturing is making a comeback or what well the biggest way to put it is this is a movie about you know the importance of change in america specifically looking at manufacturing you know we've looked at it as something that's died in america but we don't think it has you know we're still producing things here and there's this importance of bringing things back here and keeping things here in america and so that's really what our film illustrates is that we as consumers can keep things in this country we certainly can but nathan you you look at detroit Look what's happening Absolutely. in Detroit now. It's, it's essentially bankrupt. Uh, of course, that was, that was really the hub of American manufacturing. So does that show that, I mean, because what they did, we can talk about policy issues, what makes a good or a bad manufacturing environment, but is, is the fact that Detroit is doing so poorly any reflection on manufacturing at all in the U.S.? I think the story has changed, and that's something that we explore in the film. We tell the history of manufacturing. We tell, you know, when it was after World War II, 50 percent of, the, of the, the world's manufacturing base. But what is the story of manufacturing today? What's going on with companies trying to compete in a global economy? And we don't shy away from that in the movie. We tell the story of medium-sized company, small company, large company that's uh, competing, making things here still today. And the truth is, is that it's changed. Uh, but I look, I look, Vince, at two, two cities. I look at Detroit. Detroit has the highest tax rate and more regulations than any other city in Michigan, any other city. And yet it has the worst public services. Uh, what that tells me is that more government is not the solution to this, that you've got to get government out of the way, lower taxes. They hired bad mayors, who were a lot of whom were in jail. Uh, they, they raised taxes and they raised regulations. Is, is there a message there? Because other cities and states that did differently, like Texas, for example, are doing quite well. You know, we did exactly that. We pulled government out of our film. So our film really doesn't address the politics. It connects to the consumer to realize that, you know, we can argue about, you know, the, the who's in office or who we want next, but ultimately... We don't want crooks in office. Oh, that's, there's no doubt. argument there, and that's what Detroit had. Oh, without a doubt. People who... Pro any Look, any politician, and I'll go to you on this, any politician who promises stuff that they can't deliver, who promises these, these contracts to unions, to public sector unions, that they, there's no possibility of being able to, to, to really follow through on should be in jail as far as I'm concerned. No, absolutely. And I, and I think that, you know, when you hear politicians make promises over and over again, uh, sooner or later we've got to roll up our sleeves. And as consumers, that's what we wanted to look at, focus on demand. Because if we can demand American-made goods, companies start listening, they start figuring out how they can make things here, and those companies uh, put pressure on Washington okay. for the right policies to be made. So While we hope that that kind of flows up. Let's talk about the positive. We've got to wrap it up, unfortunately, sure. because yeah. but there's there is Detroit and then there is also Pittsburgh. And there are places like Louisville that we're looking at right now. There are places that did the right thing. I remember when Pittsburgh was ruled a bankrupt city as well, when it's, it's the, the river that runs underneath it was, was flammable. And yet that city has made a comeback by doing some of the right things. Uh, have you studied what those things are in this film? Oh, definitely. We look at companies that have made an impact on local communities. New Balance, for instance, they're the last athletic shoe manufacturer in America. And they're employing Americans in the New England region to make sneakers. Mm -hmm. And the fact that that's the last athletic shoe manufacturer, I, it, it makes me scratch my head. I don't know why. The one thing that I take issue with you guys on, you say that a U.S. Department of Manufacturing could create national standards, guidelines, and incentives for manufacturing. What makes you think that the, you want to create another bureaucracy in addition to the Commerce well, Department, which I think should have been eliminated long ago? <laughs> how could you possibly think that a new bureaucracy is going to make anything easier for manufacturing? Well, you know, it's something that we talked about you know, uh, in the press, but not in the film. And uh, we kind of keep politics out of the movie. It is about demand. But at the end of the day, where that kind of spawned from was just, we look at other countries like Germany, we look at China, we look at Asia, we look at where all these other, uh, uh, where manufacturing has kind of gone. Every country has a plan. 
And so while we say, you know, a department of manufacturing might be a good idea, it really is honed around the fact that one state can make a tax right. policy or the nation can make a tax policy, while at the same time on the other side of Congress, they can be passing trade bills that wipe out all those benefits. By the way, the, so solution, can look at it, the know, solution to Pittsburgh was the fact that a lot of private sector investors turned the steel industry around there. Sure. That's, that's really what changed things. Yeah. The movie's called American Made Movie. I have to admit I haven't seen it, but I am going to see it. It sounds yeah. like a fascinating film. Please but, do. Uh, Vincent Vittorio and Nathaniel McGill, congratulations, gentlemen. Thanks Thank so you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for having us.